Greetings, beloved of Bethlehem. Um, this is the first day of Black History Month, and I am, I am just so heartened by what I'm hearing and reading about the efforts that are going on in our congregations to lift up our African-American heroes, heroes who remind us to, to fight for justice and equality and to build the beloved community. I'd ask that you mark your calendars for our diocesan-wide Absalom Jones celebration that'll be held on February 24th at 10 o'clock a.m. It'll be held at St. Stephen's in Wilkes-Barre this year. And it'll be a wonderful time of, of prayer and fellowship. You know, there's, there's no better time for me to be heading back to Africa than this month. Deacon Charlie Barabo and I will be departing on February 9th uh, for a return visit. And this journey marks a, a new chapter in our 17 year partnership. It's, it's hard to believe it's been 17 years that we walked together with the Diocese of Kajokeji. We call it New Hope. And um, every time we go, we return with new hope. Some of you may recall that um, we have helped to build five primary schools, a high school, a college, and then other really important uh, infrastructure efforts over the years to support them in their ministry and in their mission. Uh, I'll be spending time during this visit with their new bishop, um, the Reverend Luke James Kenyi, uh, who was consecrated just a short time ago on September 10th. It was remarkable that they were able to gather at their cathedral in Kajukeji for this event. He secedes, though, the, the late Bishop Emmanuel Amure Modi, who, who died shortly after Patty and I were able to meet with him and his wife at the Lambeth Conference a year ago in August. Uh, it'll be a bittersweet return as we gather and walk with folk who are hopeful about a future and also sing so long to a beloved brother. We will, we will gather on retreat. We will visit the schools, which is one of the, one of the best times of these trips, I will tell you, to be uh, with the students and to, to talk with them and to hear their, their stories. Um, and oh, how I look forward to that time together. It's also hard to believe that it's been um, four years, almost to the day, uh, the Deacon Barabo and I were there. Um, at that time, violence and upheaval had, had forced the community to flee from their homes um, to Uganda. And we will be with them this time in their homeland. What a blessing and gift that will be to be in that beautiful and wonderful place. So pray for us, pray for us as we travel and know that we bring your love and your spirit with us as we return. I wanna close with a prayer, a prayer that's, that's used on the Sunday before Ash Wednesday, uh, a prayer that speaks to the magnificent mountain, mountains that Jesus traveled. Let us pray. O oh God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.